Hi everyone, welcome to the new special episode of Doki Doki. Why is it special, you say? Who fucking knows? But there's gonna be a new cast switch up. So Jesse, put down the cast members and who will be playing who? Ooh, ah, oh, look at that. Ooh, mm. fancy. Yeah. Magical. Ooh. Look at that. It's not that magical. Come on. Fucking use your imagination. It's literally just words. Use your imagination. Imagination? There's an I in that word. I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit him. He fucks up words all day. I say one thing wrong. Imagination. Because it's got magic. And I'm just gonna, gonna fuck, tie you fuck up. it. Tie you up good. Don't tie me up in my own sleeves though, for comfort. One second, everyone. This is No, important. you're stretching them out. Oh, sorry. It's because you're struggling. Oh, it stretches them over her hands. No, that's where they go. They're Anyways, tight. let's start. Okay. <clears throat> so I can just wing it. Yeah. Also, you're going to probably be 90% of this episode, so good luck. Uh, <laughs> I said too much. <laughs> I'm sorry. What do I know anyway? <laughs> that's terrible. Just keep going. You got this. I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ah! That's the uh, worst thing. Uh, go, uh, go uh, Alright. Do your, do, pretend you're being a... <coughs> How do you do that on episode? Do, remember the one, vo pretend you're like one of those metal bands you listen to. And just do one oh, of Oh, I'll tear my throat out. Well, don't go so heavy. Just do that. Monica smiles meaningfully. Okay, Batman. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. <laughs> Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear it from here. I sigh and sit down myself. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly, I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book. But she looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. <clears throat> I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation of her own accord. So I have no choice but to approach her myself. By now, it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit in the one next to her own. Uh. <laughs> yeah, she's that voice. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to, to bother you or anything. Relax. You didn't even do anything. What? I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? <laughs> How are you even able to tell that I was thinking like that? Well, <laughs> it's something that I do a lot. So it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. <laughs> not, not that I was staring or anything. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts so much. I laugh. <laughs> I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. When you when you do your boy voice, it sounds like um I can't think of the Saturday Night Live actress. Um, but there's an actress that does in um they ha it was a professor from Kimmy Schmidt that was like the same character with the she had like a lesbian wife and then they like kept switching places. Yes. You sound like her when you do your voice. I don't know. That is kind of insulting, but I, I believe you. <coughs> I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. <laughs> don't apologize. Your troubles are only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. 
Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Uh, it's... <laughs> Welcome to the hell that is my life. <laughs> I never appreciated this until now. It's uh, really not that big of a deal. I was just uh, feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. <coughs> Sayori? Yeah. She seems a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Ow. That's quite romantic. S sorry. You sound like a creepy doll. <laughs> I didn't mean to say something stupid. <laughs> Actually, you sound like the Natasha version of the... From the <laughs> oh my god, I do! Jimmy doesn't want to come and play. <laughs> red rum. Donnie. Yeah, Donnie. Say red rum. Red rum. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, my God. I have ruined everything. <coughs> <sighs> it's not that. I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sarah and I have just been friends for a long time. That's all. Ah, I see. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. <laughs> the world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. <laughs> there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. <laughs> uh, so you think that there might be something behind it after all? Mm. I think that Siri is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head. And she may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today, too. And I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupied in your thoughts, wasn't she? Wasn't she? <laughs> well, I guess that was the case. Sorry. She really... Means a lot to you, doesn't she? <laughs> I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. That's all. I'm Batman. <laughs> I'm going for like a mix of Batman and Peter Baelish. It's, I'm not, it's not working. I'm just Peter Baelish. <coughs> I'm trying to get Peter Baelish. <coughs> Game of Thrones. Yeah, I know which character. Little finger. Oh. There's someone else I was getting, but Batman's mostly what I get from it. Mm. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware of were in you. That, that is, I think that she would be a very fortunate person. To have you <laughs> feel that way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy. Oh, pretty simple guy. <laughs> so I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Fancy pants bitch. Uh -huh. Some call me purple haired cared whore. That's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. <laughs> it's also funny to note that Natasha's sitting like <laughs> on a, the chair like she's like about to pick up some bitches. She's like leaned over with one hand up on her shoulder like I'm in so much pain, holy oh, shit. Oh yeah, purple haired whore. Uh, I'm not very complicated. How about I go head deep into your puss and we go a little diving and she's like Are you <laughs> Oh yeah. I think it's empty. You want water? <laughs> Good enough. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? You suck my chocolate dick again. Well, as long as you're okay with it. <sighs> yeah. I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. Do you want to click? Yeah. It's hard to do all of the thing. Hey, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? <laughs> oh, <fuck. clears throat> 
Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I did the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. So let's do Sayori. <laughs> so you don't have to die. Please. <clears throat> I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably. Yuri. Oh, <laughs> oh my heart. Huh? I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy, too. Right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Kiwi. Sayori? Is there something wrong? <laughs> huh? No. Nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Alright. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me. Okay? You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay. Yeah. I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sorry. Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well. Okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. <laughs> That's not fucking red flags all over. Jesus, fuck. Anyways, He's a moron. I'm a moron. Thanks for watching, everybody. I think that was a good, good episode. It was good. It was good. It was wonderful. It was fantastic and Okay, Natasha, you gotta stop reading things like that because I'm like fully a wreck now and it's it's disturbing for everyone, including yourself. I hope you could hear me hitting him. That was that was me doing it to myself. She doesn't actually hit me. <sighs>